Hello guys, welcome to my peach tree. My Georgia peach is going to give me peaches this year. I have had, unfortunately, to do a lot of spraying this year because I've been fighting against that. But however many peaches I pull off with that, I'm getting beautiful peaches like that. I'm excited. Look at the beautiful peach. Oh, man. Look at this one, guys. Look at the colors. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to bite into these. So I just treated everything with um, a uh, copper side. It fights against brown rot disease, which is most definitely what I've been fighting. Every year I get it and I've never been active in spraying. But this is brown rot. It's like a, a moldy thing that happens to your peaches. And I've been pulling these off and throwing them in there instead of on the ground, trying to do what I can to ensure peaches this year. Little sucker branches even have peaches on them. But um, I even came around my peach tree and put um, magnesium uh, fruit tree uh, food uh, around the drip line of my tree a while back and I'm telling you it really helped my tree because I don't think I've ever seen my tree so beautiful I lost a main branch due to a bad storm plus it was full of peaches and I always get this problem which when you see this stuff that's usually where a bug got in there I sprayed it I think I'll go get me some seven and spray that again but I've destroyed a lot of this was appearing up here in my branches and I sprayed all that down with liquid seven a while back and it killed every bit of it looks like I need to come back on that one spot I don't want to spray anything else because I just sprayed this with copper side or not copper side but like a fungicide I'll show you what I sprayed it with this stuff is bad you get little worms in that and they will They'll kill your tree. Uh, my tree is looking really healthy. Look at that peach tree. Oh my goodness, look at those peaches in there. Look at those peaches. Aren't those beautiful? I can't wait to bite into them. But everybody I talk to tells me that if you're going to grow peaches, especially in Arkansas, you have to be very proactive with sprays. And I don't like sprays simply for the fact that it's, you know, you're putting stuff on your on your peaches, and that's not cool, but in order to get my peaches, i got to put stuff on them. Look at my huckleberry bush. That is definitely no sprays. Look at all those little huckleberries. Aren't they gorgeous? I'm just really tickled with my peach tree. The sprays do work, but I've just been using Liquid 7, and... Um, this spring. As a matter of fact, I still have some peaches that have brown rot on them at the very top and I can't get to those to pick. But I'll show you what I've been spraying. And it really has slowed down the um, progress. Yeah. That right there. And that seems to be working. And let's see here. I'll show you my other little peach tree. This one's only about three years old. I'm still fighting with him. I've got some dead branches on him. I need to come back, I guess, and cut them. It's an Alberta peach. He's full of peaches. They're very small. I guess I'm just used to the Georgia peach. I just sprayed him with a little fungicide too, just to make sure. I haven't really seen much peach rot. Yeah, see these branches right here. I don't know what's going on there. They just didn't leaf out. I already cut one off. Oh, this one right here, I guess I'm going to come back and cut off. 
I might just have to trim these off. I don't want them killing. I mean, it's still alive. It's very spongy. There's my gojis. And my goji berries. We won't see anything until late this year. Oh, wait a minute. Take that back. It is flowering. There's flowers. We've had so much rain, they're kind of laid down. Yeah, they're flowering. And my grapes. All of this is organic. Bunch of mint. Wildflowers and sunflowers. Tomato plants are looking magnificent. <clears throat> Little things need to be cut. I think I need to do some pruning on it. A little yellow in there. It looks good. I just weeded it not too long ago. Cut flowers. And then there's the herbs. So yeah, that's what I got going on. I'm really excited about my old peach tree. That peach tree is probably five plus years old. I've been around for a very long time. But every year it tries to give me peaches. I just didn't know that I needed to be spraying it. Now I know. You gotta be proactive in your peach tree health. Next year I will definitely be doing different. I'm just so happy. I'm just so, look at all these peaches you walk in. It's just loaded in peaches. Oh, peaches, peaches, peaches. Peaches, peaches, peaches. I mean, that's how heavy it is. We had to put um, supporting sticks up underneath them. I have big boys. Those are big peaches, guys. Oh my god, yep. There's one that's brown peach. I gotta go and pull my ladder around. I can get that one. I'll go ahead and pull him off. There's one right there that fell off. That one must have fell off the tree. So I try to pick him up and keep him contained in one area so I can throw that away. It's weird how the little sucker plants are got peaches all over them. They're just growing out of one part of my tree that I had to cut a long time ago. But they're all full. There's a bad peach. So we'll pull him off. It's full of peaches. I just let it go. I thought, well, shoot, why not? There are peaches way up there. I see a bad peach. There's some peaches up there. I pulled off some dead ones right there. That's what the ladder is about. You can see all those peaches right there. All right, my friends with YouTube, I love you all. And I just wanted to share with you my peach tree and the little garden I got rolling. I hope all are blessed and um, do well as well this summer. God bless all of you. With much love from HodgePodge. Peace out, peeps.